What is up, guys? This is Tristan, and today we are going over exactly why people do not last in the landscaping business. And guys, I've been in the home service business for three total years. I've seen landscapers come in and out of the industry in so many different ways. And the best part about this video, guess what, is I'm gonna tell you how to fix those things exactly. If you want to, you can hit that subscribe button before we start, as it totally helps out this channel. I got nothing to sell you. Let's get right into it. So the first thing is that people do not know how to charge. People don't know how to charge accordingly. They're either undercutting or they're like just trying to be the lowest bidder. I'll tell you right now, if you are consistently doing that in the landscaping business, you're not gonna have enough money for yourself. You're not gonna have enough money for employees. You're not gonna have enough money for good equipment. You're not gonna have enough money for truck insurance, business insurance, all of these certain types of expenses that totally add up with your business. If you're consistently on that lower spectrum of the charging scale, you're going to run out of business so fast. That's a great formula for you to run out of business. If you want to run out of business, make sure you're charging really low. But I'm, I'm a big advocate on charging premium rates. If you truly believe in your service and you, you can sell it, then definitely charge premium rates. So the second thing is that they do not incentivize great workers, which are extremely rare in the landscaping business, and then they'll pay for mediocre or subpar workers for just a little bit less. If look, a lot of people may disagree on this, but I would rather have one superstar worker than three absolutely subpar workers. And the reason why is because that they have a full understanding, they can build an experience with the customer, and then ultimately that they're probably gonna reap some type of reward within the business, making the business make more money. When you have subpar workers, it's going to ruin your reputation potentially and ultimately going to give subpar results, which your company does not want to be associated with. You've got to incentivize those great workers, guys. Overpay for them. Overpay for them. And they don't pay for these superstar workers and they eventually get them. Then they leave. Then they get these subpar workers that do crappy jobs, then the company starts to fumble. That's that's my second point. The third point is that they do not know their numbers. And the biggest number that I think they really don't know is the expenses that go into a project. Let me give you an example. If you are laying down sod or you're laying down mulch and you completely underbid the job, going back to the first point where they don't know how to charge, you underbid the job and you're actually coming out of your pocket with sod. It's just a, a formula for disaster. So you have to know exactly your expenses. Expenses. Honestly, for every expense, like whenever I do lay down sod, I always make sure to charge two or three times the amount of expenses that are going to be needed for the project for the bid. If I'm going to be spending $50 on a pallet of sod, then, then I need to be charging $150 to the customer because I'm going to be delivering it. I'm going to be installing it, all of these things. That's a great little lesson for you guys to have. If you have a thousand dollars in expenses, then charge $3,000. You want to definitely be able to charge accordingly for these types of expenses. Cause if you don't know the expenses, you're going to get all in this cluster where the project's going to be diminished. And if you consistently do that, it's a great way to run out of business. All right. My fourth thing is that they don't have an online presence. When you don't have an online presence today, it's going to be hard for you to build a service-based business, especially the landscaping business. If you don't have an online presence where people can actually go out there, see your workers working, see the projects that you've accumulated, they know that you have the knowledge in the field that they want the results that they want to have. Your website is a direct proportion to how your business is perceived. And you need to have some type of website or some type of social presence, whether that's on Google, Facebook, Instagram, you have to have some type of digital presence today on landscaping because A, is a direct proportion to what your business is like. And then B, the amount of customers are primarily online today. But if you don't have an online presence, you're going to run out of business. Six is that they do not communicate with the customer or they don't know how to communicate with the customer effectively, thus leading to a terrible experience, ultimately leading them to run out of business because they can't communicate effectively with the customer. And if you don't know how to effectively communicate with the customer and you're not transparent about the pricing, if you're not transparent about what time you're going to be there at, when the project's going to be done, you got to be precise with the stuff and the customer needs to be just laid back 
where they don't have to worry about a thing, truly. Because if they're having to worry about, oh, when is he going to come? What time are they going to be done? Do I need to buy this or that? They, they don't want any type of stress. So you have to over communicate with these types of customers because if you don't, especially on these big landscaping tickets, you're going to run out of business. That's the best way to do it. You got to over communicate rather than under communicate. And speaking of customers, if they don't build an experience, they don't build a customer experience and they treat customers more like dollar signs than actual people. When you treat customers like dollar signs, the intonation, the tonality, the charisma, uh, how you talk to them, the respect that you give them completely changes whenever you actually treat them like people. When you treat them like people and you can actually have a conversation with them that is not about the project or if it's just about life in general, they're more than likely to give you more jobs or more work. I see so many people just trying to get the quick dollar, go and get the quick mo, or go and get the quick landscaping tickets. But genuinely, if you care about your customers, that's gonna go far and beyond in the business spectrum definitely one thing to consider. My last thing is volume. And some people underestimate the amount of volume that it actually takes to run a landscaping business. It takes a lot of volume. It takes a lot of relentless, dreadful hours to get the ball off the ground for a landscaping company and landscaping business. It takes so much effort. It takes so much volume, whether you're putting out thousands of door hangers, thousands of flyers, you're going out and talking to a ton of people, you're, you're working absolutely relentless hours in the midst of the summer, in the midst of the spring where it's hot and sweaty. Trust me, I've been there, I've done it, <laughs> I do it. And it is treacherous, but a lot of people underestimate the amount of volume that it traditionally takes to get something great off the ground. And I think a lot of people are looking for get rich quick schemes with the landscaping business. And then they're like, oh crap, I really realized that it's not that. And I think when people quit their job to start a landscaping business or their landscaping or their business hopping or their job hopping, the grass is always going to be perceived as greener from afar. And then you actually get there and you're like, holy shit, this needs some watering. And it takes time to build a foundation of a beautiful garden. It's the same way with the landscaping business. You have to build the foundation initially day by day by day, work, no results, work, no results, work, boom, just got paid. And that's how the landscaping business is. You have to put in a lot of volume initially, and I think a lot of people don't put that volume in, and that's why they don't last truly. Because the man that additionally shows up all the time, he's going to get better each time, and the guy that doesn't show up, or he'll just show up sporadically, he's just gonna fall behind the guy that consistently shows up, traditionally speaking. But guys, that's why a lot of people don't last in this landscaping business. Take it how it is, I've seen it. I've seen so many people just run out of this business, then they go back to their nine to five, or they go back to their corporate lifestyle because they can't handle it. And it's not all rain and sunshine and all of that stuff, but it is the truth. And uh, there is so much money in the landscaping business, truly. You just gotta go out there and get it. So guys, if you enjoyed it, go and take a look at that next video. I'm gonna get out of here, peace.